Dit is de plus wc. Hier mag je dus niet poepen. Wc-papier moet dus ook in een um, vuilnisbakje in de emmer. Um, hier mag alleen plus, want dat gaat gewoon naar het zand. Twee. Hier mag je wel wc-papier, hier mag je niet plassen. Um, en nadat je het hebt gebruikt moet je dit bijvoorbeeld er overheen doen. Niet te veel, want anders doe je open. Er zit een klein vuilniszakje in en daar, als het helemaal vol is, dan wordt het opgeruimd gewoon. Well, we are now going to the village of Berendrecht to, uh, with, with many children and some inhabitants of the camp to uh, spread flyers and information about the action of tomorrow. Tomorrow many activists will try to block the coal uh, stocking place which is located a bit further here and we're going to try to invite the, the inhabitants of the village so that maybe they want to join us tomorrow. We're we going to do this with the children, to do it mm -hmm. in a very uh, I say non-violent and, and peaceful way, and it's a good way for us to show it. Mm -hmm. I think they are the first victims of this of this thing, which is uh, uh -huh. heavy polluting uh, stockage place. And from what we heard, there are quite a lot of people here who are very upset about this place. Uh -huh. And uh, it's also important for us to have good relationship with the with the neighborhood. Obviously, they should be they should be with us. We will have uh, a kids demonstration, but not only the kids, but everyone uh -huh. who wants to join. Um, the, uh, the, the the day of action in a non-confrontational way is uh, free to join us. So um, we, we have made banners, we have uh, music instruments that we've made, and quite a lot of things. So I think it's going to be fun tomorrow. The direct action, which was incredibly successful, we shut down the um, Antwerp bulk terminal for an entire day. They shut down operations there. There's um, 70,000 tons of coal coming in and out of there um, every single day. It's shipped in from South Africa, it's shipped in from Colombia, and it's then um, put onto trains which transport it around Europe or smaller ships that go to um, the UK. And I think activism is a really nice way of spending vacation. Uh, uh, it's a really good thing to openly talk with people about your ideals and your values. And these are people who are actively thinking, who are actively concerned, not only about their own future, but also the future of their children. Um, my children are maybe here not directly involved with the dust clouds of the coal, but in the same way they are involved. In, I live maybe 60 kilometers further, but climate change is a worry we all should have. And it is not only climate change. For me, that's really important that climate change is just one symptom of capitalist thinking that is destroying everything. It's not only destroying the climate, it's destroying all life on earth. It's just selling it all and using it all for short time profit. This is an action against the Lange Wappen, which is a huge bridge uh, in, above the city of Antwerp which will have huge uh, ecological uh, effects. And one of the effects is that the forest behind us will disappear. So they will make a tunnel after behind me and this, uh, the, the woods will be cut down to make this uh, tunnel and bridge. At the place where the bridge will be built, it's a rather poor neighborhood in Antwerp. And there are uh, several, like for instance, uh, institutes with uh, children who have um, problems with their lungs who are situated just below uh, this bridge or where it is planned. And so they are also very much involved in this protest because of course when tens of thousands of cars will pass there each day, this will be very detrimental to their health uh, as well. What the government wants to do is to solve the traffic problem by creating more roads. And what we say is we have to solve the traffic problem 
by having less traffic, having more people on bikes or public transport, etc. So less cars, less uh, uh, lorries, trucks, etc. And um, so there is a huge support amongst the Antwerp population against this uh, project of the bridge and the tunnel. And uh, some action groups have uh, done massive campaigns and were able to collect more than 60,000 signatures. So there will be a referendum where the whole of Antwerp population will have its say on whether this bridge will come there or not. And there is a real chance that the movements will win this struggle. So this is a very, a really important ecological and social struggle here in Antwerp. For us, the goal is of course in the first place to stop this uh, project and give a clear sign to governments and big companies that the people in Antwerp and surroundings don't want more traffic but want their city to be organized in a different way. And I think if we can win this struggle, this is a very important step in uh, building a movement and a struggle uh, against the way cities are built today, the way traffic is organized, the way the system, the capitalist system deals with uh, transport and mobility, etc. I think direct action is, is, a, is a really empowering thing and it's um, a really important kind of uh, um, uh, democratic right to exercise, I suppose. I mean, you've got a situation where, where the earth is literally kind of burning and um, you've got kind of governments and corporations who are happy to keep, keep seeing that happen um, whilst profiting or, or, you know, continuing on benefiting from this kind of business as usual scenario. And this is all happening under the guise of, of democratic participation when, when in fact, you know, I think none of us have asked for this and, and so it's so plain to see for most normal people that, that this isn't what should be going on. And so instead of, you know, filling out petitions, going, you know, asking really nice for someone to do something, this is taking control into your own hands and showing that it's not okay. Um, and I think especially with, with an issue, I mean, I think direct action is always a valid tactic, but especially with an issue like this, which is, you know, quite an urgent thing, you, it's really important for people to feel empowered and show and stop things when, when, it, when it needs to be stopped. Well, I came to the yeah. camp because uh, I think it's very important for me to teach my, to teach my children that uh, the way we are, the way human beings are dealing with the planet right now is not sustainable in any way and that we have to change the way we live. That's why we try to do in our daily life and taking part in such a camp is a good way to make the children know more about uh, the dangers of climate change, about uh, how we could live in a different way in the future. I'm definitely I'm worried about my future, but even more about their future. Yeah, I'm afraid that the planets that, are, that we are going to leave them will not be livable. They won't be able to live in it. Or maybe if they can live in it, their children won't be able to live in it because uh -huh. we're just destroying the whole planet, basically. We have to change our way of life. Uh, I mean, everyone at on an, a very individual level, but also the way we organize society together. Uh -huh. uh, we have to drastically uh, diminish the way we deal with energy. We have to live with much less energy. We have to live... Uh, I don't know, I think we should all stop eating meat.